What's going on guys, it's Jake here, and today, this is probably gonna be a really short video. A couple weeks ago, I don't know why I'm holding this yet. A couple weeks ago, I, well, more like a month ago, <laughs> I found this listing on Etsy for a uh, metal thumbsticks. My first thought was, wow, that probably is not very comfortable. I mean, they're solid aluminum thumbsticks. No rubber grip on top, just solid aluminum. I saw it was from Zed Labs and I went to their website because if you see someone on Etsy and you want to buy from them, I highly recommend trying to find their website because it's probably cheaper on their website, <clears throat> just like me. I perused Zed Labs website for a while and I found that they have all sorts of different colors for the thumbsticks and purple being my favorite color, I went ahead and grabbed some purple ones. To me, it would have felt weird if I just got thumbsticks, especially being purple. So I grabbed a whole set of purple buttons and I grabbed some purple regular thumbsticks with some rubber tips just in case I don't like the metal ones. And as much as I love Zed Labs, they are a UK company, so it took a while to get here. And once it finally arrived, I tore open my WaveBird controller because that is my new main controller for the GameCube. It was absolutely disgusting. I got it apart, cleaned everything up as best as I could, and then the start and Z buttons just don't fit. I don't know why the Z button doesn't really make sense to me. I think the uh, start button is slightly different on the WaveBird, so that's understandable, but I don't know why the Z button wouldn't fit. But I just went with the old Z button and the old start and start pause button. I never really thought about how that button isn't just start, it's start slash pause. I grew up with this console and I'm just now realizing this like 20 some years later. Once I got it all back together, I realized that the purples do not match whatsoever, which is not Zed Lab's fault, that's plastic versus aluminum. It's not gonna match very well. Here it is. I had some friends over that I hadn't seen in a long time and we all played Mario Kart for a few hours and I'd say about five races in, it was when my thumb was starting to hurt a little bit and that's not very long like if you know how fast it is to get from one race to the next in double dash it was probably about 30 minutes of gameplay probably less i don't know i wasn't counting time flies when you're having fun right but it just it just wasn't comfortable from all the games that i have which is not a ton for the gamecube most of them don't use the c stick the only one i can think of is if you play two people on one controller for Mario Party 7, which is the best Mario Party, don't at me. Just messing around with the C-Stick, my thumb slides instantly. There's really no grip to it. And it just slightly bothers me that it doesn't have C in it. The metal thumb stick on the, uh, on the left stick, it's got plenty of grip, it's just, it hurts after a while. The rings are constantly digging in and pulling on your skin, and it's there, there's rubber on these thumbsticks for a reason. I just have to give this a no. I'm all about comfort, and to me, the GameCube controller is probably the most comfortable controller of all time, and then adding the aluminum thumbsticks really takes it down several notches. They look sick, it's just not comfortable. But if you guys did enjoy, please listen to Brittany. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Only 1% of my viewers are actually subscribed. Next week's video is going to be pretty cool. It's gonna be one of two things, but either way, I'm very excited for it. But if you wanna know what those video ideas are in advance, like see the projects done early, check out my Patreon. But I think that's all for now, so I will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. I show off my finished projects early on Patreon. I cannot talk today.